Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for those that are new to my channel, um, I will be making videos every week so subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and today I want to share with you guys something about VIP kit, mm -hmm. that little dino right there. Um, I decided to apply for this job because I didn't want to work over the summer and I couldn't really find something that I liked. So VIP Kit is actually an online English teaching thing, program, organization. I think it's based in Hong Kong, I think. Um, I haven't really researched that part, but I am, um, I did the, the interview, I did the background check, I did the whole shebang. It took a few days, but I kind of took breaks in between because I really wanted to stretch it out till the summer. I applied a few months ago and then I waited a while to actually complete the, the like third phase which is the certifi certificate or whatever, the level one and level two. And so it took me, I did the first trial and then it took, they wanted me to do the second one. And I took a few weeks before I did the other one. And um, all you need to do, it's really easy. If you know English, you're good to go. If you have a bachelor's, you're good to go. Um, so the process was pretty easy I didn't think I was gonna get in the first time I tried with one email I had to re-enroll again because no one ever showed up to the trial and then I was like what the heck so it didn't move me on past that and I sent an email and I didn't get a reply so I was a little weird and sketchy I kind of thought I wasn't gonna do it anymore so I applied through another email and that's when I got through and I actually thought that my interview one the, the one I recorded it this time was pretty bad like I felt horrible about it. I was like I think I did a horrible job but they accepted me and they passed me so I guess it worked out well but for the, for me I thought I did a horrible job and I just watched YouTube videos I watched others do it um you, you usually just take out any of the extra words and talk really slow and clear and like um, straight to the point you don't add like a bunch of other words inside your sentences you're like this is a ball that's it you're like oh yeah this is a ball you don't have a whole conversation with them because that's just confusing and you just need a headset your laptop or computer and fast internet which I'm working on the fast internet because there's this whole issue going on so I'm hoping my first class goes well and it doesn't ruin it but you do need to create an intro when you're applying so if you're gonna apply I will link down below the, the VIP kid website or whatever if you're gonna apply make sure that you have your handy um, your bachelor's degree copy your ID all that good stuff um, and then you have to create that intro video do not forget about the intro video because that got me that caught me off guard and I wasn't prepared for it and I had to create this little lame one and I'd rather do a new one I'm probably gonna do a new one when you put all that information in if you apply um, it's gonna let you edit it later on once you're you pass and sign the contract and all that um, you'll be able to fix it so I'm gonna go back and fix that and make a whole new intro because I didn't like the other one so yeah I haven't gotten any bookings and it might be because the hours I chose it's very small window and I am new so maybe that's why but I am excited to try it and once I get my first class I will let you guys know how that goes um, the whole pay scale, I mean there's other YouTubers that explain the whole pay scale a lot better than I do but basically for one class they pay you like nine bucks or something like that and depends on your experience and then I do think that every six months they review you so that you can get a little bit more but for the most part more most people get paid like 20 bucks an hour because they teach two classes in one hour so in the end you kind of get paid like 20 bucks an hour and that's pretty good to me uh, my regular job pays me like 14 something so it's just like well 20 bucks is pretty good and it's one-on-one -on -one. um you just need a place to record and their hours are a lot more different than us because we're basically opposite so from seven to five which is basically all day um you don't have any bookings because they close those times your working hours start at 6 p.m and end at 6 a.m so you were basically it's kind of like either work from like 6 to midnight or like midnight to 6 a.m so depends how many hours you want to do it's up to you um they're hot hours the ones that are really like on demand 
are usually like in the 4 3 a.m. and I was just I would do that if I didn't have a baby that we were all sharing this room together then I would do that I wouldn't mind because I would go to sleep or like late and wake up late or whatever so if you have the flexibility I think this is a great job to do it's easy it's fun especially if you like teaching and then you get to work from home and from 7 to 5 you're you can do whatever you want and then just work from 6 to midnight and you're good to go I mean it's not that bad so I will let you guys know more about it once I I finish my whole experience teaching this but for now I've worked on my little background I got this idea from Pinterest these are just three bulletin boards the, the strong foam ones I don't know um or you can get the given the cardboard ones that open up and then I just cut some triangles I printed and printed that little dino out and laminated it and then I might put um a part where it says my name like teacher my name or put a little my reward system on this side so it's fun I mean if I had space to put it up on a wall I would but like I said I live in the little closet with my baby and my husband so I don't have much room to work with so this is what I have to do I have to create a background that I can fold up and put away it was pretty simple the website's easy to understand the bookings are easy to understand everything's pretty good um, customer customer service has answered my questions when I have some and yeah my first the first interviewer that I had was a little more I don't know made me feel a little more intimidated because she felt a little more mean but um not mean it's just I don't know it was a weird vibe I didn't vibe with her and then the second one I, I got she was actually a lot more nicer and I felt more comfortable and more relaxed and so I thought it was better so I feel more confident about it that's basically it <laughs> so um yeah my experience with them was pretty good um I just haven't gotten any bookings which is pretty bummed out but I mean I just opened like one hour yesterday so I don't know I don't expect much but um I'll let you guys know once I get a booking how that first class goes and I'll show you guys what I use as my props and all of that good stuff if you guys are interested um so yeah this is my background it was pretty cheap one two three bucks and then I laminate that and printed that out so easy as pie is that what they say I don't know I'll see you guys next time bye